Meanwhile, DOTC Secretary Jun Abaya sees a much improved MRT operation before the end of the year. Let's have the details of this report from Arapens. Transportation Secretary Jun Abaya assured that the country's mass rail transit is right on track. Bidding and awarding of contracts for the MRT, LRT, and PNR are slated before the Aquino administration ends in 2016. Oh, well, offhand, uh, we are still finishing up the FS going to the pier. Uh, the, we still have to bring into the line uh, the one for Cogeo. We have awarded to DMCI the extension to Masinag, and we're about to bid out uh, the LRT to ONM. But clearly, we are, we're done with the prequal stage, so next would be their submission. So, it, Safely, second quarter, matagal na siguro ang third quarter this year. So it's just around the corner. What, what's your... Uh, the award. The award of LRT2 ONM. DOTC is set to award the contract of the operation and maintenance of LRT2 to prime companies, including a French firm. Abaya said the Department of Transportation and Communications is also open to foreign firms so that our mass transit facilities will be up to par to international standards. All. We have a level playing field in DOTC. No favored bidders, no sacred cows, no under the tables, no over the tables. Because they're up against uh, world-renowned rail operators as well from the other parts of the country. No, just being French doesn't give you an advantage. <laughs> dapat, dapat. The LRT2 extension from Masinag to Antipolo, the PNR extension from Matnog Sorsogon in the south and Vigan in the north, the extension of LRT1 in Cavite, and the upgrading of tracks and train coaches of the MRT3 are all undergoing feasibility studies.